Eddie and the Hot Rods Eddie and the Hot Rods are a pub rock band from Essex founded in 1975. They are best known for their 1977 UK Top 10 hit, Do Anything You Want to Do, released under the shortened name Rods. The group broke up in 1985, but reformed in 1996. Singer Barry Masters was the only constant member until his death in 2019. The band continued to tour, fronted these days by their former bassist, Ian Dipster Dean. History Formation The band was formed in Canvey Island, Essex, England, during 1975 by guitarist Dave Higgs, who had previously played in The Fix with Lee Brullo, with drummer Steve Nicholl, bassist Rob Steele, and singer Barry Masters, born in Rochford, Essex, 4 May 1956, 2 October 2019. Before rising to semi-stardom in 1977, the Hot Rods underwent several changes in personnel. One of the first members to leave the band was Eddie himself, which was a dummy that featured prominently in the Hot Rods' early gigs and was discarded as the joke had worn thin. Otherwise, the band consisted of Barry Masters on vocals, Pete Wall and Dave Higgs on guitar, Rob Steele on bass, and Steve Nichol on drums. Ed Holly's brother of Talk Talks, Mark Hollis, became their manager. In May 1975, after building a live reputation, they secured a Saturday night residency at the Kensington in London. This was followed in October by a joint residency with the 100 Wonners at the National, playing alternate headline sets. In November, after positive press reviews of their live shows, they were signed by Island Records. Commercial Success By 1976, Lou Louis' harmonica and Paul Gray bass had replaced Wall and Steel. Louis's tenure in the group lasted for the release of their first two singles before he too left. With this new lineup, the Hot Rods played a set at London's famous Marquee Club. Their opening act was the Sex Pistols playing their first London gig, which descended into chaos with the Pistols smashing the Hot Rods gear. The Pistols' support slot earned them their first music press review in The Enemy, with no mention of the headlining Hot Rods at all. By way of revenge, the Hot Rods claimed in the next week's edition of The Enemy, they first appeared in the UK singles chart the end of that year, with the live at the Marquee EP and the single Teenage Depression, an energetic rock and roll song. After the release of the Teenage Depression album, which gave them their first appearance in the UK album's chart, they recorded another EP called Live at the Sound of Speed. During the gig from which this EP was recorded, Graham Douglas, formerly of the Cursal Flyers, joined the band on stage and jammed along, adding extra lead lines. Afterwards, his membership of the band was made permanent, and they set about writing and recording for their second album. The live recording of the Sound of Speed EP featured Douglas on only one track. He therefore set about recording additional lead guitar overdubs in the studio, though to keep in with the essence of a live release, he was only given one attempt at recording each song. With the addition of Douglas, the band was moved in a more radio-friendly direction. Their biggest hit came with the Douglas slash Hollies collaboration Do Anything You Want to Do in the summer of 1977 under their shorter. This single made the British Top 10 number 9 in August 1977 and also proved popular with the then predominant punk audience as did that year's album Life on the Line. They appeared at the Reading Festival held in August 1977, and also in that year the Hot Rods toured the United States with the Ramones and Talking Heads. In late 1977, they released a one-off collaboration with MC5 singer Rob Tyner as Rob Tyner and the Hot Rods. When it came to recording a follow-up album, the band tried to recapture the success of Do Anything You Want to Do but to no avail. The album Life on the Line hit further problems with CBS Records, still having contractual claim over Douglas, leading to his picture being removed from the LP sleeve for some releases. In 1978, the band toured in Canada. In early 1979, they released a further album with Douglas, entitled Thriller, recorded at Abbey Road Studio, 
which featured a fuller studio sound and used more studio effects. Due to disappointing sales, they found themselves dropped by Island in 1979, and in May that year were rumored to be on the verge of splitting, with Grey touring with the members and masters and Nickel playing in the band plus support. They signed to EMI in August 1979, releasing a further album in 1981, Fish Chips with new bass player T.C. Tony Cranny, but disbanded in 1981. Reformations At this point, Gray and Douglas had already left the band, the former joining the Damned. Masters teamed up with the inmates. Ed Hollies went on to work with some of the best-known acts of the punk era, including the Damned, Elvis Costello, and Stiff Little Fingers. Nickel joined One the Juggler. Masters and Nickel reformed the Hot Rods in 1984 with T.C. Tony Cranny bass player from the Fish and Chips album and new guitarist Warren Kennedy. This lineup recorded the single Thought for You. Tony Cranny was later replaced by Russ Strutter for the live mini LP1 Story Town before the band split again in 1985. Tex Axile, who had briefly been a member in this era, went on to join Transvision Vamp. In 1992, the classic lineup masters Nickel, Higgs, and Gray regrouped for a European tour. Higgs left after the tour, but the band carried on with Steve Walwyn of Dr. Feelgood replacing him. Another Feelgood member, Gordon Russell, was briefly a member, soon replaced by Mick Rogers, a former member of Manfred Mann's Earth Band. In 1994, they recorded the album Gasoline Days, released in 1996 by Japanese label Creative Man. Several lineup changes followed, with members including Madman Kyo and Jess Phillips. The new millennium saw a new lineup, still led by masters but now comprising Simon Bowley on drums, nephew of original drummer Steve Nichol, Dipster Dean on bass, and Gary Loker on guitar. In 2001, after an 80-date UK Naughty Rhythms tour with Dr. Feelgood, The Hamsters and John Otway, they were joined by Richard Hulgarth, Otway on guitar, and shortly afterwards, Loker left the band. In 2005, this is the lineup that has since performed as Eddie and the Hot Rods, enjoying renewed popularity with tours throughout Europe and Japan, as well as five successful tours of the USA in 2006-2008. 2009, 2011, and 2014. Dave Higgs died in December 2013. In early 2018, the band announced they would soon retire from headline tours. The band toured the UK in March 2019, opening for Stiff Little Fingers. During bass player for the March 2019 tour was Adam Smith of Newtown Neurotics. A one-off celebration gig done everything we want to do took place at Otwo Academy, Islington on 13 April 2019, which featured appearances from past members Lou Louise, Paul Gray, Steve Nicol, Graham Douglas, Warren Kennedy, Chris Taylor, Tony Cranny, current members Richard Hallgarth, Simon Bowley, Dipster, and special guests Captain Sensible the Damned, Lee Hagarty Rutz DC, Duncan Reed the Boys, Dennis Greaves and Mark Feltham, 9 Below Zero. Masters died suddenly on 2 October 2019 at the age of 63. A later inquest determined that his death was drug-related. Having already announced that Barry would be retiring at the end of the year due to health concerns and after an enforced COVID pandemic break throughout 2020, the band decided to return to the stage in 2021, with longtime bassist Ian Dipster Dean taking over the vocal duties. Mike Stoner Chords UK replaced him on bass, and they are currently on a UK tour alongside Nine Below Zero. Musical Style The band's early repertoire consisted of covers of 1960s R&B songs and original songs inspired by the likes of Dr. Feelgood. Known for their energy on stage, they attracted a younger audience than many pub rock bands. Although often categorized as one of the founding fathers of the punk era, they were simply interested in playing loud, fast, in-your-face rock and roll. The energy and attitude certainly endeared them to punks, 
and Joe Strummer stated that when he read about the band in a listings magazine, it was the first time he had seen the word punk used to describe a band. Their 1977 tour of the U.S. with the Ramones and Talking Heads was billed as a punk rock tour, and their 1977 concert in Windsor, Ontario, was billed as Windsor's first punk rock concert. They were overtaken by punk rock bands, however, and were soon considered to be outside the genre. Discography Studio Albums Live Albums One Story Town 1985 Waterfront BBC Radio 1 Live in Concert 1994 Winsong Winsong Live at the Paradiso 1998 Pub Get Your Rocks Off 2002 Jungle New York Live 2009 Recorded Live at Southpaw Brooklyn Compilations and Sessions Rods 1977 Promo Live and Outtakes Curse of the Hot Rods Aka 1979 Free Range Studio Covent Garden Sessions 1992 Street Link Live and Rare 1993 Receiver 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 Ties That Bind 1994 Dojo Joe The End of the Beginning The Best of Eddie and the Hot Rods 1994 Island Get Your Balls Off 1996 Skydog Gog Doing Anything They Wanna Do 1996 Anagram Take No Prisoners The Best of British Punk 1998 Delta Music UK do Anything You Want to Do 2000, Spectrum, The Singles Collection 2009, Captain Oi. Do Anything You Want to Do, The Best of 2012, Spectrum Music, Epsis, <laughs> Live at the Marquee EP 1976, Island, EP 2 UK No 4396, Tears, Get Out of Denver, Medley, Glorious Satisfaction at the Sound of Speed, EP 1977, Island, EP 5 UK No 56, Hard Driven Man, Horseplay, Double Check-In Woman, all I Need Is Money, on the run on 12-inch version only. Singles, DVDs, Do Anything You Want to Do 1996, Cherry Red, Re-Red, Live 2005-2006, Plastic Head, Introspective 2009, Voice Print, 